Okay, what's up YouTube? This is your friendly neighborhood electrician uh, with another video. I just wanted to show this to you because it's, it's really crazy. Um, I'm at this uh, commercial property and I'm waiting for my wife to pick me up because I got into a car accident uh, the day before. But uh, outside of that, this is what I see. So check it out. You have a 90 liquid tight connector with looks like some half inch liquid tight from going to it. There's no um, flex to EMT adapter or coupling at all to a one hole strap without the proper type of screw which should be a uh, tapcon or at least an anchor that supports the weight to a compression fitting not a rain tight fitting which that's what that should be rain tight fittings are blue with a yellow um, piece of rubber inside to conceal the uh, not conceal but to seal up the, uh, the opening so rain can't get into it to one strap, two straps, nothing near the top of that uh, that 90, where it should have, it's supposed to legally have a strap right next to it within, a, within 12 inches. To another one, there's a strap that right there, but they bent it all the way back, so it doesn't actually support the, uh, the weight. To a strap right there, which is bent all the way back, which is illegal, we're not supposed to do that. To this really shitty uh, three-point saddle, it's like really shitty. They could have got it with the four point and been done. No strap there, no strap here, to over here in this area. The strap is bent all the way up under, which makes no sense. No strap over here to some uh, tie wire. So this shows these were residential electricians that did this bullshit. So again, regular compression fitting. They have one rain tight um, coupling right here. One. To a compression fitting to this contraption. This is for inside the wall. This is called an old work uh, single gang box. And this is what they have outside. All this is outside. So they could have got a, uh, a single gang weatherproof box or I would have gone with a, uh, a, a four gang, uh, not four gang, a two gang uh, weatherproof box. That way you have the room you need. Now, first of all, they have MC cable on the outside going in. You're not supposed to have that. You should have had a, a liquid tight or regular EMT going in for this light so it can be powered up. Then they have MC coming out right here into the box itself. And that's again wrong. And that's the wrong type of a, a connector for the MC cable. Now the only way you can have MC cable on the outside is if it's a MC with a PVC jacket which makes it then weatherproof. And they don't have that at all. And then that big ass hole, they didn't bother to seal with any type of um, sealant at all. Then they just bothered to leave this occupancy sensor switch hanging. So all this stuff can get somebody shocked and killed easily. Then we follow that up, going straight down to right here. There is no connector at all on either one of these. It's supposed to be a rain tight connector on both sides so that it's protected. And then that goes follows in. So yeah, this is the type of work that I see all the time that I have to go back and fix. This is not my job, but just letting you know. Stuff like this is the reason why electricians get a bad rap.